Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's class, I'm going to teach you this beautiful flowers in window painting with acrylics. This is going to be a time lapse tutorial, but if you want the full length class with detailed techniques, descriptions, art materials, and practice exercises, join me on Skillshare and get it for free for 30 days. You can find the link in the description box below. There, I have also showed you how you can create this painting on a large canvas. Okay, let's begin. I am starting this painting with fluid acrylics. So I am mixing a lot of white with tiny bit of cadmium yellow and pink to create this beautiful shade for the background of the canvas. Give it some time for the background to dry and then you can sketch out the window in the way I am doing it. Now it's time to take out some thick body acrylics so I am using white and black and with the help of a knife i am adding a thick layer of the thick body acrylics on the background wall um, arrange it in the in the shape of the bricks so you should add the strokes in alternate fashion and uh, use a lot of thick body acrylics to create this beautiful wall texture Look at how thick the strokes are. They are almost popping out from the canvas. Make sure your background is dried before you attempt to paint the windows. So for painting the windows, I'm using a teal blue color mixed with white. center I am using a mix of black and brown now if you don't have this brown shade you can use burnt sienna as well or a little bit of orange to give different shades in the center of the window now to create the definition of the window panels I am mixing a little bit of white with the teal blue to create these lines along and I'm also creating a line with teal blue and black to create the shadow of those lines. Now go around the window with uh, lots of white uh, mixed with a little bit of yellow to uh, create the border and using the same colors I'm creating the lines in the middle of the window. All the fun starts now. So take out all the thick body acrylics of these three colors, black, sap green and lemon yellow. And then you just keep stacking them one after another. Do not mix them on the plate. Mostly I like to pick up the paint directly from the plate and add it on the canvas and just tweak it around and try to give it the shape of the leaves. This is a really fun step. Uh, you can watch the process once and then do it in your own way. Uh, because it's kind of difficult to copy exactly what I'm doing but if you just watch it and understand what I'm doing you can just do it in your own way and create your own leaves.
After finishing this layer, give it some time to dry because unless it is dried, you won't be able to paint the flowers on it. So I have kept it for a good couple of hours, made it completely dry so that I can paint the flowers on top of it. Okay, now it's time to paint the flowers. So I'm using two colors, quinacridone red and white. So all you have to do is pick up the paint on the tip of your knife and just move it in round and round direction and try to create swirls with your with a, a knife tip. You can also use a small brush if you feel uncomfortable to do it with the knife. You can use a small brush also to create the same uh, concept. So here I am using the brush. So I can sometimes uh, switch between brush and knife. So try both and see which one you feel comfortable and then use the same thing or you can switch between both of them. I just feel with a, uh, with a brush, you just can give a lot more uh, textures. So when you are painting the red flowers, give little textures with the white in between and then when you're painting the white flowers give little textures in between with the red so that is how you keep alternating between the two colors and create these beautiful flowers Well, that's it. We finished creating this beautiful painting. I hope you could follow along with me and you created this gorgeous painting. If you did, you can join my Facebook group and share what you created. I would love to see what you have done. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next class.